And now the James Webb Te Space Telescope is identifying objects in the dark ages that by best measurements we have are large, fully developed galaxies. So who ordered that? And if we look as far as we can with the telescopes we have right now, up to only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. But this is something we're watching as it was just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, one of the first ever galaxies to form, yet it already has a supermassive black hole at its center. So that really only emphasizes the problem of explaining how do we form these things, because there really isn't that much time between the Big Bang and then the these first galaxies that already have these supermassive black holes at their centers. For decades, we've embraced the idea that the universe began with the Big Bang, a moment when space, time and matter all emerged in an explosive birth. However, what if the Big Bang wasn't the true beginning, but merely a chapter in an infinite cosmic saga? Nobel laureate Dr. Roger Penrose, among other prominent scientists, proposes that the Big Bang might be just one cycle in an eternal process of cosmic renewal. In fact, new theories even hint at the existence of a mirror universe, possibly operating in reverse beyond the Big Bang. One fascinating concept is the existence of an anti-universe, where time flows backward. Such a phenomenon could potentially explain mysteries like dark matter and the inflationary phase of the early universe, though no conclusive evidence supports this idea yet. Dr. Penrose, however, suggests we might already see traces of a prior universe within the cosmic microwave background. This is a, a geometry known as hyperbolic geometry. It's a very nice representation of infinity. I'm taking that picture as important in thinking about space-time is that the Big Bang was like one of those Escher boundaries. But it's nice and smooth and you can imagine that you could continue this universe to outside that region. So even though the Escher picture ends with this circular boundary, you could still imagine that the space-time continues out beyond that. Specifically, he posits that leftover radiation from black holes of a previous cosmos could still linger as faint imprints in the CMB, a tantalizing hint of a universe that predates our own. What was once purely a philosophical notion is now gaining scientific traction, thanks to groundbreaking observations, including those made by the James Webb Space Telescope. Recently, the JWST unveiled findings that seem to challenge key assumptions of the Big Bang theory. Some experts argue that these observations hint at a cosmic structure far more complex and ancient than we ever imagined. The universe we observe today, the observable universe, spans roughly 93 billion light years across. Yet, this vast expanse represents only a fraction of the total cosmos. The actual size of the universe might be infinite, with countless galaxies and stars lying beyond our observational limits. This boundary is defined by the farthest light that has had enough time to reach us since the Big Bang. Interestingly, the extent of this observable limit is relative, varying depending on the observer's location in space. These revelations invite profound questions. Was the Big Bang merely the latest chapter in an eternal cycle of cosmic creation and destruction? Could mirror or anti-universes help us unravel the enigma of dark matter? As science progresses, these once speculative ideas inch closer to providing answers, forever expanding our understanding of the cosmos. An alien civilization in another galaxy would perceive a completely different version of the observable universe due to their unique position in space. Interestingly, when we observe distant regions of the universe, we're essentially looking back in time. This is because the light from faraway stars and galaxies takes billions of years to reach us, allowing us to witness them as they were in the distant past. However, our current understanding of the universe struggles when we attempt to explain phenomena from earlier cosmic eras, particularly those closer to the Dark Ages. 
events from that period seem to defy established theories. For instance, astronomers have recently discovered enormous black holes at the centers of young galaxies that emerged only a few million years after the Big Bang. This discovery has left scientists baffled, as no known process could allow such massive black holes to form so quickly. One recent observation revealed a low-mass supermassive black hole that is devouring matter at an astonishing pace, 40 times the theoretical limit. Additionally, these early black holes appear to be growing with nearly perfect efficiency, a process thought to exist only in theory. Astrophysicist Sophie Kudmani from the University of Cambridge offered a compelling perspective. If black holes in the early universe grew at such rapid and efficient rates, it could provide enough time for smaller, lightweight seed black holes to evolve into the massive ones we see today. This insight suggests that primordial black holes, potentially predating the Big Bang, could be the missing piece of the puzzle. These findings suggest that the universe may have existed in some form before the Big Bang, challenging traditional cosmological models. Supporting this notion, the James Webb Space Telescope has recently made groundbreaking discoveries in the early universe. Over time, astronomers have uncovered unusual galaxies that formed mere billions of years after the Big Bang, hinting at complexities that defy current scientific understanding. The James Webb Space Telescope is uncovering anomalies in the early universe that challenge existing cosmological theories. Among these are colossal black holes whose presence in the universe's infancy defies conventional understanding, as there seems to be no plausible way for them to form so quickly after the Big Bang. While our own galaxy, the Milky Way, has developed over 13.6 billion years, researchers have identified a galaxy far more massive and structured that emerged in under a billion years. Adding to the mystery, three ultramassive galaxies nicknamed Red Monsters, due to their dusty, reddish appearance in Webb's images, have been found. These galaxies, each rivaling the size of the Milky Way, contradict prevailing models, which suggest that early galaxies grew through slow, inefficient processes. As astronomer Steen Woitz from the University of Bath notes, these ancient giants seem to have bypassed the usual developmental obstacles, forming rapidly and efficiently. Further complicating the picture, scientists recently discovered Rebels 25, a galaxy existing just 700 million years after the Big Bang, yet it closely resembles the Milky Way. This finding adds to the mounting evidence that the current theories about galaxy formation and evolution may need significant revision. If current theories hold true, then the existence of these early galaxies suggests two possibilities. Either they somehow existed before the Big Bang, or an extraordinary event shortly after the Big Bang dramatically sped up galaxy evolution. Roger Penrose offers a fascinating perspective through his theory of conformal cyclic cosmology, proposing that the universe undergoes infinite cycles of creation and destruction. In this model, each universe eventually reaches a quiet end as black holes evaporate over incomprehensible time scales. The residual energy from that decaying universe, according to Penrose, could ignite the Big Bang of a new universe. This implies that our universe may not be the first, but one in a series of cosmic iterations, with remnants from a previous cycle potentially shaping its formation. The discovery of massive black holes in the early universe adds another layer of intrigue, prompting questions about their origins. Some researchers speculate that these black holes could stem from primordial black holes, entities that might have existed even before the Big Bang. If true, this would challenge the traditional notion that the Big Bang marked the absolute beginning of time and space. The possibility of pre-Big Bang black holes suggests that the history of the cosmos is far deeper and more enigmatic than we currently understand.
These ideas push the boundaries of conventional cosmology, revealing that the universe is far more intricate and mysterious than our present knowledge allows.